Repetition Sanai, it's such an important song uh, for me as it's been really the first song I ever produced. Uh, I had in my mind the melody of the piano that starts uh, with the song. So during that time I was also starting to learn photography and <laughs> I remember I used to watch this kind of ISO, shutter speed, um, aperture videos. Then I remember one night waking up during the night and taking my camera again and doing exercising again on these parameters. I did this kind of little shoot all by myself in my room um, with just the lighting coming out the window. The picture that I have on the cover of Repetitions at Night is actually uh, a picture that I take in um, during one of these sessions. You can notice on the cover I repeated repetitions uh, three times and I think the R is coming up a little bit. For the second version, I also repeated Night. Yeah, so this song is, is actually two, two versions. The first version I produced in Dublin. Fast forward very many months in Dublin and I was living in a studio and I was with a very close friend of mine. So there were many pressures from very many sides. Economically, I always had this kind of mentality of saving, 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 uh, not being able to you know, spend anything for myself. And that really puts a stop on lots of things. And also, at part-time job, the times were messed up, uh, it wasn't really kind of part-time at the end, it went up like kind of full-time. So I was trying really to have a routine, to be stable, uh, what were really my values, what I really wanted to do in my life. And unfortunately, I guess all this pressure came in and really hit up um, the relationship with this friend I had during that time. So I made this first version. Technically speaking, it's shit because I didn't know shit about compression, didn't know shit about mixing, mastering, so the ideas were there. But well, I just came out, so Oxford Brookes University Music Department is very concentrated on do your thing, don't follow anyone, just, you know, do you. So that meant the form was so weird, the ideas were there, just next to each other, and which was fine. It's actually interesting. It's actually interesting the thing I've done there. A few months ago, uh, when I was in Paris, uh, going back to Italy, I started to think about the song again, the melody, and yeah, so a few things have changed. It's a nice night, you can close your eyes, and to nice night, you can close and close it, yeah, yeah. I can try every day, I can dream, open eyes, and my soul is a supreme. So so shy when night and the stars, all the stars they go on, on never stops. And I try every day to play high, broken eye, thinking of you, huh? thinking of them, huh? thinking of me, huh? but I can I, I can I, can I hide, I can I, can I hide, hide? You're a night, <laughs> you should be sleeping and your soul just starts to thinking about things. So it literally brings out what the soul wants to talk about. So it's kind of interesting. Um, I really do think that this soul, it's really the internal part of the brain that are not controlled by the pre prefrontal, yeah, pre freaking hell prefrontal cortex of the brain, which kind of stops that kind of thing behind. So when I say never stops, I know, I know the verb is not third person singular, uh, it's plural, shouldn't be an S there, but hey, we have a rhyme there, so better share up. During the day, I really 
try hard, I play high. It, it looks like I'm very strong and headed, then at the end of the day, I really can't hide what I do feel inside and that comes at night. So when I say thinking of you, I literally refer to the guy I was talking about. I was thinking a lot about him in general, maybe too much. That caused lots of problems. Uh, and then thinking of them, I talk about society, what society would really want out of me. Repetitions, uh, repetitions, uh, repetitions, and uh, I, baby. Repetitions, uh, repetitions, uh, repetitions, and uh, I, baby. You can call it insomnia, baby. I call it insomnia, baby. We can call it insomnia, baby. They can call it insomnia, baby. The moment when you start awakening, you awake. You you either are awake. Or well, sometimes it happens that I do awake uh, during the night and there are things that you just um, you know I found myself doing and doing it over uh, all again all again either I'm thinking of a situation a person and it's repeating in my head kind of things that could happen or then I get really anxious and I remember during that time in Dublin when I was writing this song um, sometimes I would just put music in my ears and I would just, just like listen to it. I guess our brain just wants to feed with things that try to figure out the issues, right? You want to figure out what's going on, how to fix it and blah, blah, blah. For my dissertation, I wrote, uh, I wrote, <laughs> I wish I wrote, I read a fantastic book. I don't remember the name. During the editing, I'm gonna put it somewhere around there. The author talks about uh, repetitions, music repetitions and why they get stuck in our head. Repeating things kind of helps us um, in some deep level that we still don't clearly completely understand why. At the end of the day, what's happening might be called insomnia. And I don't understand why for mental issues we really don't put much effort in trying to understand what are the causes about this? And I'm not talking about the ill people, I'm talking in general. Um, it's like, oh, you suffer from this, it's clinical, you are ill, take a fucking pill, whatever, that, that might solve it. And I don't think that's the right path to do, to make. We, uh, I read uh, another amazing book that calls about depression and anxiety. Um, which I don't remember the name again. Link, there, there. <laughs> and, well, the thing is, um, there can be causes for why you're feeling that way. And you, as a new person, should try to see it as much as the scientists that are studying these things should try to figure it out. Every night, my open eyes, I can try, but this dream never lasts. I can hide my pain, but this pain never stops, and I try every day, I try, hey, I, try. I don't know, 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 it's the pain, I can hide, I can try. Open up, never stops by, open up by, never stops. Yeah, when I'm tired, that's my drug. That's my drug, man. I I don't know where the, this part of the brain goes, like just my prefrontal cortex is gone. <laughs> I'm just crazy. And when I talk about dream, I refer to that, to that state and that I just think about things and start, but I'm not talking about literal dream. It's really hard to figure out where the pain comes from sometimes when we are going through some issues. We really don't understand what the thing that is really causing problems. We can never be 100% sure. I can try to find it out. I can even hide the pain meanwhile. But at the end, you just should try to open up in the sense of opening up to the mental issue, issue that you have, accept it, embrace it, and you might solve it.
But never forget that it will always come back. Issues and problems in life will always, always come back. Hard ones. Susanna, I will try back. This tonight I can figure it out. And I will try, try tomorrow again when the sun will come out. I'll try that moment, cause at this stage I will just listen to what I got But my brain tries, my brain still tries And I can't figure out who I hide So I will need some repetitions at night I, I, Cause I can't continue to fall out and Maybe I be able to uh, speak it up uh, tomorrow. I'll be able to uh, but now uh, I need some sleep, but I can't sleep. Oh, I, I. And so it goes. Put the shingles, 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 uh, I, to be honest with you, I found out the definition of fallout. And the term, and I think it refers to something, the atomic way, nuclear physics. For me, it just has the meaning. I can't continue just to destroy myself this way. How fucking annoying it is when you really <laughs> try hard to sleep. And you know, you know that the day after you have important things to do, you know it. And you might need to wake up early. You have a job, whatever, and this inside brain just come to you and be like, uh, 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 you better, you better listen to what I need to say now. And I'm like, man, just freaking let me sleep. Let's think about it in the daylight. I just love the psh, 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 and then it goes well with shins, shingles. Like in the standard of being like insomnia is something considered like you can't sleep. And I met a guy especially that really had this issue um, that she couldn't sleep or you know, but every night. Uh, to that extent, I don't suffer from insomnia. I do have though, especially when in a stressful situation period, when I'm figuring out, uh, when I'm figuring out something, it's kind of waking up things. You know, it is a red bell. It's like, hey, there's something going on. Try to figure out. I do understand, you know, the downside, the emotional struggle that one might have to find out what that is. And I, this song for me is more about just accept it, accept these repetitions, just go for it. Try to figure out the issues that, that these, Thing is bringing you because you have to or oh, I think it will just go worse and worse so just listen to yourself listen to this repetition listen to this song I hope you can get connected to that a little bit see you next to the next song ciao